Fresh attacks inside North Syria, even as the U.S. presidential envoys scrambled to Turkey to talk peace. The fighting's as fierce as ever. And Turkish troops are being ordered to keep on firing. There's zero appetite amongst the Turkish for stopping this offensive. In Ankara, the president told his party's MPs there'd be no ceasefire until the Turkish YPG pulled back 35 kilometers from the border. Unless we reach that objective, no power can stop us, he said. And to those who threaten us with economic sanctions, he went on, you will lose more than we do. Azdan az gider, çoktan çok gider. Well, that was a robust performance from the Turkish leader. He's basically showing no sign of compromise and telling America, you can starve us with your sanctions. We will never give in. The US delegation has a tough challenge ahead. The president's clearly irritated with the American administration, telling the crowd they say one thing to our face and another behind our back. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Alex Crawford from Sky News. Thank you. I'm based in Istanbul, but I'm from Sky News in Britain. When we spoke to him minutes afterwards, he was relaxed, but had this sting for the incoming U.S. officials. Uh, the American delegation is coming here. Are you worried about it? Will you be seeing them? American delegation is coming here. Why would we concern about it? What will you be saying to them? I'm standing, I'm not, I'm not going to talk to them. They will be talking their counterparts. When Trump comes here, I'll be talking to them. That suggested he wouldn't meet the U.S. vice president, who's hoping to persuade him on a ceasefire. Was this intended to put the U.S. on the back foot? It caused huge concern. And shortly afterwards, he told Turkish journalists he would see the Pence Pompeo delegation. His summit with Trump next month will depend on how those talks go, he said. So far, the Americans aren't having much luck. The U.S. National Security Advisor breezed in to see the Turkish Foreign Minister. But those talks didn't happen. Rescheduled, not cancelled, was how the officials put it, although he did see two key advisors instead. In Washington, President Trump played down the crisis. I think our vice president, who's a very capable man, will do well tomorrow. He's going to meet with President Erdogan. Per president Erdogan said he wouldn't meet with anybody, and he took that back just a little while ago, and he said, no, I will. And uh, I think they'll have a successful meeting. And on the battlefield in North Syria, the Russians are moving in where American soldiers were. And one world leader the Turkish president will see is Russia's President Putin in a few weeks' time. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Turkey.